Have you ever been tuning your car and you come across some table or some setting and you're not quite sure what it does? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to answer that question almost immediately. It'll save you a ton of time and you'll probably learn a whole bunch in the process. If you're active in any of the Holly tuning pages on Facebook, you probably think I'm just gonna tell you to read the manual since that's what everyone's answer is to every question on there. You're not too far off, but I find manuals really difficult to kind of quote unquote read. They're easy to use when you have a particular problem and you go and search for you know that that one thing, and uh, you know you can find answers that way. But just to sit down and and like read cover to cover a manual, it's it's not really the easiest thing ever. Uh, the other thing is when you're out on the road tuning your car or even sitting on the dyno flipping through a manual or trying to search online, it's just unrealistic. Don't tell anybody this, but I've never actually read the manual. And I ain't got time for that shit. I think the first time I installed one, I read you know, what I needed to read as far as the wiring went, and then uh, just kind of figured it all out from there. But anyways, enough of that. Let's jump into the software, and I'll show you how to find the answer to all your questions in less than a couple of seconds. Okay, so you're in your car, you're tuning, everything's going great. Uh, this is just a Holly base map here. And uh, the one I always use is under Acceleration Enrichment, this AE versus TPS, uh, ROC blanking. Uh, the first time I ever used Holly, I had never seen that ROC blanking terminology before. I wasn't quite sure what it was. You know, what do you do when, when there's a setting and uh, you're having a problem and you don't know what it does and you wanna know? Uh, picking up a manual, thumbing through it, looking on the internet, it's all a huge pain in the ass. So, what I want to show you here today, if you're not already aware, is if we simply push the F1 button, the manual pops up. Man, what? But what's more important than you know just the manual showing up is it actually takes us to the page of the manual uh, with our exact you know thing that we want to know. So here's our AE, AE versus TPS ROC blanking. So this thing will save you just a ton of time. Uh, now you will need Adobe Acrobat Reader. Every computer I've ever had has always had this on it. I just did a quick Google search for the hell of it. And uh, if you just type in Adobe Acrobat Reader free, it, it looks like there's a paid version. And then there's also this uh, free version over here. Uh, so I haven't tried this to see if it works. I don't see why it wouldn't. This is a really common thing. So then if you close out and I don't know, let's say you wanted to Tune the trans line pressure, but you weren't sure what you needed to do. We press F1, line pressure. Shift parameters, F1, shift parameters. Let's see, we've got nitrous here, F1. Brings us right to that. And let's see here, drive by wire, pedal bush throttle, F1. Pedal bush throttle right here. Uh, if we go into a data log, we don't have quite the same adjustability here, or not adjustability, but like if we go into scatter plots and we press F1, nothing happens. However, if we are on a main data log and we press F1, it will bring us to the whole manual for that. Um, and then you just scroll down a little bit and you can find your, data, uh, your scatter plots right down here. Uh, scatter plots are something that I don't currently use very often, uh, but they can be very helpful. So I actually might start playing around with those a little bit more. Now, uh, one more thing is most of this is pretty self-explanatory. This video will be pretty quick, but if we go back to our Terminator software, boost control, press F1, uh, we get a description as you would expect of boost control, but you can see here that it's very short. But don't forget that almost everything within Holly and all of the different systems will transfer from one to the next. So if we go into V6, uh, of course this doesn't have boost control, why would it? So if we add boost, all right, so add boost control, go to boost here, and we'll press F1. If you scroll through this, this will take you a, a quite a while to read, but you can just see how much more detailed the description and everything is on 
the Dominator software versus the team Terminator X. But like, here's your main setup right here, just your PID values, whether it's fixed or from the compressor, what your fixed value is, target limiter dumb, you know, all of, it's all the same stuff. So everything that you can learn in, in here, uh, you can just go and apply over here to the same thing. So uh, don't uh, be afraid to bounce around, even if you're not using the, the V6 software. If you download the software, it's worth it just to, to have the manual. And again, you know, you just push one button rather than flipping through 300 pages or whatever the manual is uh, to find what you're looking for. It's a huge help. All right, this video is pretty short, simple, and to the point. Uh, hopefully some of you guys did not know about this feature and it will help you out, save you some time. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.